Okay, so here's my um, attempt at chronicling. Putting this lawnmower together, um, I've converted it to use a big electric motor from a golf cart. So you see the mower is all stripped down. There's no, the blades aren't on, uh, the motor's out, batteries are out, and the cage that holds the controller is oh, securely clamped up here. That's where that is, but see everything's empty. I didn't feel like taking the base of the battery box out. So that's what that is. And here's over here, there's the four batteries that go in there at the top of the battery box. A bungee cord. What project wouldn't be complete without a bungee cord? And there's the motor with the mounting plate. I'll get a little closer look at this, but so that the mounting plate and this coupler right there, uh, I had to machine out uh, the steel. It's very nice. It turns nice and smooth. And there's a little coupler there connecting the shaft of the, the motor to the pulleys. Um, not much else there. There's that side. That thing is recessed in. It's got a couple screws holding it in and a big set screw I made. Um, that's about it for that. So I'm gonna just Put this thing back together and show you the various stages of okay, so where everything goes. To put this thing on, put the motor on. I usually just uh, get those, see these uh, four bolts. I get those guys just a little bit tight, and then I lift this mower up on its end, and then I tighten them up from down here so they're really secure. But you can see the motor spindle right here. Spin that guy around. Works beautifully. Get that out of there. And so, when I start hooking this thing out, I take the spindle, or pulley, this guy came with the mower, and this was off the gas engine, and I had to uh, put a little key, I had to mill a little key right in here in the spindle, if you can see it right there. So it'll hook right in here, just like the, the factory engine would. Slides on there, and then there's another pulley. So that one works the just the transmission, so that moves the uh, the mower forward and backward. And then there's another pulley that works the blades. And this is well, it's an electric clutch with a pulley on it. And so let me see if I can put this on here. This guy, is big. Spin that around until it catches, and there we go. That guy's on. And um, I'm gonna need to take that off because I didn't put the belt on the other guy. But you see how that works? Um, I'll show you what it looks like when everything is all said and done. Okay, so I got the uh, the electric clutch on, and the other pulley that works the, uh, the drivetrain. And you see that uh, got a little wire here. That's what engages the electric clutch, and I'll. I had to wire that guy up, that was fun. I use a little DC to DC converter. And here's a little post um, that keeps this thing steady. So normally this thing just spins, but doesn't, uh, doesn't do anything um, when the clutch is disengaged. Um, but when you flip that switch, it engages and you spin your blades. So, a little lawnmower lesson in here. All right, so I'm gonna put this thing down and uh, and get the uh, the controller controller rack mounted again and the batteries. All up. right, so here's the uh, the controller all mounted up. It's not the sturdiest thing in the world, but it'll keep the controller up and uh, all the wires out of the way. So, anyways, you see the controller. It's all. Let's see if I can get around here so you can see more of the connections. Um, so the big wires carry the current, the bulk of the current, and those come from the battery and go to the motor. And all the little wires, um, so this thing is a golf cart motor, so it has a lot of golf cart related things like the emergency brake and the backup horn, so I didn't care about a lot of those things. So most of these wires are just coming from the, uh, the on-off switch, they just, uh, they need 48 volts to say everything's okay, and so that's what they get. Um, see down there? Uh, Inside, let me get closer. That thing is the contactor. 
and just regulates the uh, it's so that there's not a big shock of uh, electricity to the, the controller when you turn everything on or when it when the power gets connected and that guy up there that is the DC to DC converter converts our 48 volts from the batteries to 12 volts so we can run the mower with the run the mower blades and then all that stuff goes up to that power switch and the uh, the power switch is the one in the back the one a little closer is for the mower blades and that guy over there is the throttle so it's a big mess of wires but it's pretty simple once you know what everything is supposed to do um, I'm gonna put the uh, put the batteries on and I'll go right there and let's see okay working. got everything hooked up now got the uh, four batteries up front they're just four 12 volt deep cycle batteries about a hundred amp hours capacity so I calculated that should be enough of two hours run time uh, for this motor it's 3.2 horsepower electric motor um, so with that let's uh, pull this guy up I put the deck on so you can see the blades working so here is the control panel. See it's very complicated. You got on off switch over there. Uh, you got the throttle right there. And this switch up here works the blades. So right now we're off and just like an electric vehicle you flip the on switch and nothing happens but something does happen. Um, but then uh, and I put this we're in neutral. So you'll just hear the, the electric motor whirring. So let's just see that. Click of the solenoid. And there's the motor. But we're in neutral, so nothing's happening. If I go down low, and let's put it in first, just real quick. Yeah, I think we're in first. Oh, yes. Let's take that out of first. Take the brake off. There we go. So, get that going again. So, motor just moves ever so slightly. And we're first now. And you see some movement. But we don't want to go too far since we're inside. And so let's go back in neutral. So the other thing is the blades. I like the switch, it has a nice little uh, light that turns on. And so you hear a click, and that's the electric clutch kicking into gear. So take that off. Nice little safety switch. Um, so I'm going to show you right here. So see right there, there's a blade, no spinny. But Turn it on. And we're in neutral, so we're not gonna move anywhere. And then we flip this guy on. And just open this up. And now we got spinning blades. So this is the slow motion version of how it cut the lawn. But crank that up and those blades start spinning. That's the full demonstration of my electric lawnmower. Alright, yeah. here's, uh, here's the finished product. There's Tina out there mowing the lawn. And it's working. Let's see, gotten some of the yard done. But that's just ineptness on our part, not the mowers. Anyways, there she goes.